This is Greater MSP Business with Cindy Brucato, presented by U.S. Bank. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Greater MSP Business. Today in real estate, perhaps more than any, in any other business sector, there's a new normal in the way of doing business, different ways of marketing, new pricing guidelines, different customers. Now, one example is New Space Home Remodeling Company based in Burnsville. It focuses on realistic remodeling, and that doesn't just mean remodeling on a budget. New Spaces promises the homeowner no surprises. Here's Sean Nelson, president of New Spaces, and you're also the new president of the Builders Association. Congrats on that. I am. Thank you, Cindy. I want to know, what does no, no surprises mean? No surprises remodeling is all about being diligent in the design phase, to think through all of the ideas, to put real numbers to those ideas so our clients can make decisions whether or not they want to add a fireplace into a living room or uh, what types of countertops they want to put in there as opposed to just picking out things based on the way they look. You know, it's really adding that budget element to the conversation. You know, and, and that's a departure, I think, from some of the remodeling projects we saw back in, well, but before the recession when it was, we don't care what it costs. <laughs> Sure, yeah. why not? Yes, the good old days there. There was a, there was an attitude that the more money you put into your house, the better off it would be. I think people are much more realistic about what they're doing now. Uh, people are willing to invest in their houses. They're seeing that as a good investment nowadays. Um, but they are being smarter about how they do it and thought more, more thoughtful in the decision making. That has been uh, an up. There has been an upturn in home remodeling with the with the housing market. When did you mm -hmm. see that start to happen? Uh, we started to see a pick up at our company about two years ago, and it just continues to accelerate a little bit this year is uh, very good for for our company for the other remodelers that I know both locally and nationally it's been going well what are you seeing from your customers your clients what are they looking for um, they are looking for help with design to make their investment go the farthest. The designer can help in two ways. One, making sure that everything comes together really nicely, but also making sure that you're making very good budget decisions because they know various products and sources. And so if you're looking for something, um, they can usually find a way to do it a little bit more uh, affordably than, than you may think. And this is one of your projects here, one of, one of your crews out there at a house in Burnsville, I believe this yes. was. Yep. And, uh, you know, the, what is, as long as we're looking at this kind of video, what kind of project cost are we looking at that is a typical, this is a kitchen remodel? This is a kitchen remodel, and most of the kitchens that we've done in the past year are somewhere between about $35,000 and $85,000. Um, big spread there, and that's really what we try to help people understand of where their money will go, what they can get at different price points within there so that they can make the right decision for them because everyone's going to have a different budget based on their family situation, where they live, all of those things. And again, this is a change from the pre-2008 days when we were seeing kitchen remodels, for example. Routinely, you were told, don't worry, you mean, don't, don't expect to do a kitchen remodel for under $100,000. Yeah, and that was absolutely the case. And nowadays, if you're going to invest over $100,000, you are going to be doing multiple rooms, probably moving the kitchen into a different space, updating the family room, redoing all the floors on the main level, taking care of that powder room. Those are the types of projects that get into that six figures nowadays. So, What, what typically drives up the cost of a project? Um, changes to the floor plan will drive costs because you're going to have a electrical and plumbing changes, um, changes to the exterior additions, uh, windows, things like that. And then from there, we really get into the selection. So countertops can vary uh, significantly in price. Cabinetry, I mean, we do some projects with about $5,000 in cabinet, and we've done projects with $30,000 in cabinets. So um, most people don't understand what drives that. That's where our designers really help educate them. Well, I was going to say, because the next step is, what can a homeowner do, or how do you help a homeowner uh, keep these keep 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 on a, at least with, within reasonable limits of a budget yeah we, we we have a few things in place to help homeowners one we do a monthly seminar called realistic remodeling how to budget for your project um, it's a third Thursday of every month um, at our showroom and we go through some of these cost drivers and show what different faucets cost and tile and things like that and how space plan changes will impact budgets. So what we want is for you to understand that overall big picture before you start the design process and figure out where you're comfortable. Then during the design process we'll typically do three different plans, one at a little bit lower range, one at a little bit higher range, and show you what you might get if you put a little bit more money into it, or how you could control that budget and still accomplish most of your priorities. Well, that would, that's always nice to have. Absolutely. Let's have you switch hats for a minute and, and go to your role as incoming president or new president of the Builders Association. Um, what is the, uh, what's the association looking at in terms of growth for the next 
foreseeable future? Um, I think on both the new home construction and the remodeling side, uh, the growth looks uh, looks pretty good. This year, um, the home builders are fairly happy. The market seems to be coming back. We're definitely not to where we were. We're, we definitely have some issues um, in terms of the regulatory environment and the cost basis for some new homes. Um, but in general, it's growing and people are able to find the new house where they want it, um, in the right school districts, in the right location, um, and at different price points. Well, you know, in the introduction, I, I refer to the new normal, which in housing has has tended to focus on the fact that the houses are never going to hit that peak again in terms of rel relatively in terms of the mm -hmm. of their prices do you think that's going to be the case that we're we're, we're going to see a, a downward motion a pressure to keep prices a little bit more reasonable yeah I think there's two pressures one is the, the houses need to be affordably priced so families can buy them yeah. and that's very important and, and that is one of the concerns we have going forward is is that affordability but also um, it is good for people to have a little bit of increase in prices. I mean, the, mm -hmm. the, it needs to keep up with at least inflation and things like that. People expect that their house will be worth more in 10, 20 years when they go to sell. And that's really the basis of a lot of the prosperity of the middle class in this country is that you can get into a house when you're younger, pay that mortgage, and then when you get out of it at some point in the future, you have equity. And yeah. you have equity to send your kids to college. And, you know, with the struggles that a lot of the younger families are having to buy a house nowadays because of the credit markets, because of the uh, regulatory cost burden that's just making that entry-level house so difficult to build, we are um, we're worried about the, you know, young the millennial generation being able to afford that and it's it's been a proven pathway to the middle class for people do you think that is getting resolved are builders and and regulators and lenders trying to work together to get this um, unfortunately, not as well as we would like yeah. in the state of Minnesota. Um, we just we see more cost pressures coming on with things like expensive sprinkler systems that are going to new houses starting next year. That that frankly uh, we don't see a need for. New homes are already extremely safe. Um, and we see that in just stormwater management practices, where multiple agencies are overseeing the inspection of those, and it's very expensive to comply with all these different regulatory environments. Um, uh, even the new building code and energy code are adding significant cost to these homes and mm -hmm. many of these provisions are great and many of these provisions we we support but many of them there's a really um disconnect between the cost value and the benefit uh, ratio that we're looking at before i let you go the parade of homes is coming up here when yeah the parade of homes will be going on all of september mm -hmm. and uh the remodeler showcase part of it will be the last weekend um okay. so both that last weekend of september you'll be able to see new homes and remodeled homes we have a project new spaces has a project in e Again, right. uh, a whole main level that people can come Always and see. Always kind of fun to dream. Thanks, Absolutely. Sean Nelson, for joining us this yeah. morning.